Only channel describes the idea of having multiple channels to reach a customer. So it could be online, could be through a store, could be wherever through an app. Many, many different ways of how you can actually um, reach your customer with your with your products. That is not new. That's uh, definitely something that we have seen before. But it also increases a certain level of complexity. So that means you have various different ways how a customer can reach you. But in the end, the customer does not really care where the product comes from as long as it's there at the right moment in time, at the right location, and is actually the right product. And that's all the customer cares about. Today we see that uh, omni-channels are often treated entirely separately. So we see that there's a completely different supply chain floating next to the normal supply chain, for example, when you deliver to stores, where the online uh, operating with dark stores and whatsoever has a completely different supply chain. And today, when we see that customers have an uh, additional um, cost pressure from the fact that the customers actually demand that, we see that they are searching for more and more ways how to save money. And one of them is actually to question whether it's meaningful to have various different supply chain existing next to each other, doing more or less the same. We have situations today where a customer orders something living in the city center, uh, you deliver something from a, from a dark store, and actually next door, where there's a store, something is picked up because they are overstocked. Couldn't you just save this transportation by making sure that these two uh, flows are integrated? That's the idea of omnichannel and putting it all on a single software platform because that allows you to actually realize the benefits and show that it's not necessarily uh, needed to have these two different supply chains exist next to each other. There's a simple reason for that. It's very complex. It doesn't. It sounds very simple to integrate various different streams, but it's not. Because if you see that there are different dynamics in the different supply chains. For example, online generally is much more short notice. It's much more short term and also much more volatile. And that can affect your delivery of the stores, for example. It has certain advantages to have them apart. But many times we, were, we see that uh, retailers actually do this because the system doesn't allow it. And that should not be a good reason. The reason that you're looking at is what is the benefit that we can deliver with this specific uh, change, in this case integrating the supply chain. And in many, many cases we see that this is very beneficial for you and for your bottom line.